In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take the bland WooCommerce emails that look like this and turn them into something much more branded and much nicer to look at, like this one right here. We're going to use a free plugin to do this. I've got another tutorial that shows you how to do this without a plugin, right in the templates for WooCommerce. It's pretty straightforward if you know HTML, CSS, but if you don't know those, the plugin route might be the way to go, and this is the video you want to watch for that. In the second part of this video, I'm also going to show you the online business bundle. I'm part of that business bundle and it is an awesome deal. So make sure you stick around or click ahead to that portion of the video because you won't want to miss it. And this bundle is only available till October 12th, 2020. If you have any questions, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you have not done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started on this one. So I have a local site here called WooCommerce Playground, and this is where I play around with WooCommerce tutorials. And what I've done here is installed WooCommerce, and I made a test order on a test product, and we're gonna look at the email that's sent when we have a test order on test product or a real order on a real product, the default email that WooCommerce sends. To make sure we receive the email, or if you wanna test this yourself on previous orders in your WooCommerce site, open the order from WooCommerce and then orders, then just click on the order itself, and then choose an action on the right. I'm gonna choose resend new order notification and then click on this arrow and that will resend the email, the notification email that an order was received. This is the local site. This is gonna go into my local inbox. And I have a tutorial about local by Flywheel to set up your own local websites on your computer that you can then upload later on to a server for a live website. If you wanna check out that tutorial, it's linked to in the description down below. Once you open WooCommerce Playground in local by Flywheel, click on utilities and then click on open mail hog. And here we see a bunch of notifications. Let's click the most recent one. This is how the WooCommerce email looks out of the box. Not too fancy, but also not too bad. I've seen worse emails out of the box. But if you wanna customize this, it is not easy to do. The options inside of WooCommerce are pretty slim. If we go to WooCommerce and then settings, and then go to emails, these are all the emails that WooCommerce sends out for various things. The one we received is the new order one. That's the one we were just looking at. If we click on manage on the right hand side, we see the content. Here's who it's sent to. You can turn this email on and off, first of all. You can have this not be sent. If it is sent, here's who it's sent to. You can probably add a comma for more recipients. Yeah, so if you wanted to add more recipients, you could add a comma and add a second one if you wanted to. And as many as you want, you can keep going if you want. And then the next one is the subject line. These are short codes that you can use to import data into the email. For example, site title is the title of the site and order number is the order number. So if we go to the email, it shows here, no site title because we want the site title set, but here is the order number, number 11. And then new order, congratulations on the sale, and that's it. Congratulations on the sale it appears down here, and then this is the customer's address. And that is it for the WooCommerce email customization inside of WordPress. You can, and we will in a separate tutorial, create a new template for all the emails. And I'll show you how to do that in a separate tutorial. You do have to have some CSS and HTML chops to really customize your email doing that method, but it's still a great method. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a plugin to make this even simpler if you don't know HTML or CSS, or if you just don't wanna bother with it. So let's go to plugins and then add new. Click on leave. Didn't make any changes there. Let's click on or search for WooCommerce email. The one we're gonna use is Cadence WooCommerce email designer. There is another one that I don't see listed here, but it's also quite popular. It's well-reviewed. It has a free version and a paid version. This one might as well, I'm not sure. But on the other one, the free version gives very limited capabilities, whereas the free version here gives a lot more. So that's why we're using it. I'm gonna click on install now. If you're installing this on a live site, you want to back up your site first, just in case something goes wrong, you have a backup to revert back to. If you need help with that, there's a tutorial in the description down below that will get your backups sorted out so you can install and delete and do whatever you want on your site with peace of mind and you can revert back to a backup. Click on activate once it's installed. Now we have our Cadence WooCommerce email designer. We have a new option under WooCommerce called email customizer. Let's click on that. As you can see, the email customizer looks very similar to the WordPress customizer under appearance and then customize, where you can customize a lot of themes these days, but this is specific to WooCommerce emails. Let's first go into pre-built templates because we can download templates and use these templates right from this plugin to immediately amp up our branding. There's three to choose from here, this one and this one, 
and this one. So you pick the one you want. This one looks like the WooCommerce default, just to change the header. This one looks quite a bit different, and so does this last one here. This one reminds me of the three-layer carbon paper that you see quite often in the real world. That's a nice look. But I'm going to go with this one, and then click on Load Template, and click on OK. And here we have our template. I think it immediately looks a whole lot nicer. And then we can go ahead and customize the actual content on here. Here we have our recipients. Here we have site title, new customer order. New customer order is the heading, which we see right over here. Hello from site title, WooCommerce Playground. For some reason, it doesn't show up when we use just this one. I wonder why. Anyway, site title shows up here. Body text, we put the body text in here. So this order is as follows, and because it's Sherlock Holmes, it's top secret, and it's top secret. So we can add text however we want in here and add text down below. This is the additional content that you see at the very bottom. Then we have the various placeholders down here where we can add the customized stuff that's dynamically filled into the email template. And that is it for the text of the email. The container provides options for the space around the email. This email is full width, and so there's no space around it. So any of the changes we make here, they're not going to actually affect what we see over here because this is the style of the email template that we have. For example, I change the content width and nothing happens. I change the background color and nothing happens. But if you were to choose a template like this one where we have, where it's a container, it's a contained unit, it's not full width, then those adjustments would apply for that type of template. So the container is for just for those type of templates. This one's full width, so it doesn't affect this one. And if we go into the header, we can change our header image just by uploading our image here. We can change the alignment, the width, things like that, the background color of the top banner. So if we were to choose, let's say, blue, this is how it now looks. Looks pretty good with the orange up there, maybe a little fainter blue, but I'll leave it for now. You get the idea, you can change the colors. You can change the header styling with these options here. You can change the heading itself with these options. You can change the font settings here, all the different font families. This is a, not a lot of font families because not every system has all font families installed. So this has ones that are safe that will likely be installed and it will first choose the first option. For example, Courier New doesn't have that. It'll choose Courier. doesn't have that. It'll choose Monospace. So pretty much every system will have either Sans Serif or Monospace or a Serif. And that way, there's guaranteed going to be a font that appears if it doesn't have the other options. You can change the subtitle placement. Right now, it's up above. You can put the order, thanks for your order, at the very top. Then have your subtitle down below if you wanted. All kinds of options for the heading. You just tweak them. You just change them and change them back if you don't like it. For the content itself, which is down here, the order details, we can change the background color to, let's say, a very faint gray. And even with a very faint gray, you can tell there's quite a big difference. And then you can change the padding, top and bottom. Get all your spacing right. You can change the heading style. This would be a heading here. The style, how that appears, how big it is, what font size it is. You can go through and change every single thing. I'm not gonna bore you with going through all the options. I know you know how to read and click and change things back if you don't like them. So I'm gonna let you play around and customize this email to exactly how you want it. Another cool option is down below in the footer. We can have social things down there. Right now we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a link, which is what? A bundled icon? Anyway. There's a link icon there, and you can add more social icons down below. You can add less, you can take them away, do all kinds of stuff in the footer if you want to. And you can also turn that section off if you don't want it. Let's go back and go to custom styles. Here you can add your own CSS. If you do have some CSS chops, you can add your CSS right in here, and it applies on the right. You will want to know what your selectors are. You can right click right in here, click on inspect. Then you can find your selectors here and then apply your CSS to those selectors using the custom styles box. You can also import and export all these options and you can send a preview email. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna send a preview email a different way how we'd actually send it in WooCommerce. So let's go to orders again and let's edit this one and choose resend new order notification. Click on send, go into mail hog, and a few seconds ago, we got this one. So we didn't customize the subject line. We got to customize that inside the email text section. 
that we saw inside this provided in this video. I show you the section that, that has that information. But here is our custom email now. And you can brand it however you want. It looks way better than the out of the box WooCommerce emails. It looks like you actually spent some time customizing your emails. And you can also customize others. So that was just the new order notification email. Inside the email customizer, you wanna go and customize all of them. If you go to email type, we see the, well first we see the subject line here. I didn't actually fill it in. I thought this was pre-filled, so that would be in the subject line, but I guess it wasn't. Anyway, we wanna change our email type to one of these other ones and customize all of these email types and then send out customized emails. And now just for fun, let's take a look at the email customizer created by WooCommerce itself. You can find it this URL here. It's linked to down below in the description if you wanna take a look at it, but I don't know why you would because we just did this for free and this costs $79 a year for the same stuff. You can see in the little screenshot here, it is just like that. It's a customizer where you customize the emails, but we just did that for free and here it's $79 a year. So pick the one you prefer and I hope you choose the free one because it works just as well as this one. Another consideration is that sometimes WordPress sites have trouble sending out email. So if you're in your WordPress dashboard sending email to wherever your email is and it's not showing up, it's probably not something you did wrong. It's WordPress not sending the email. To fix that, you wanna set up an SMTP plugin. I have a tutorial for that that walks you through exactly how to do it. It's linked to in the card up above and the description down below. So make sure you check that out if you're having trouble sending or receiving email from your WordPress site. Now I quickly wanna show you something near and dear to my heart because I'm a part of it. It is the online business bundle where right now, from October 1st, 2020 to October 12th, 2020, you can buy 100 business focused courses for the price of one. The price is $147 and you get 100 courses. If you were to buy them individually, it would be $36,000 to buy them all, which is absolutely bonkers. And one of my courses is in here. That's how much I believe in this. And I believe that knowledge and perseverance are the only two things that got me to a full-time income online. If you bring the perseverance, this is where you get the knowledge. $447. You get absolutely everything you need to make money online. So click on the link in the description down below. Go to this page and read through the courses and see if there's anything that could help you on your journey. Maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you already have an online business and you want to take it to the next level. There's something here for everybody. I can almost guarantee it. Here's even one with Russell Brunson, the guy I found at ClickFunnels. Course is about making seven figures, building agencies, monetizing your social media. You can see the benefits of the courses right down here. And all you do is you plop down the 147 and you generate logins to all these courses and you can get them all and learn and apply what you learn and hopefully start making some revenue from that. TikTok specific courses, who knows what's gonna happen with that in the near future. First business, leaving nine to five. That's an important one, working remotely. So here's a whole bunch of courses. You can see the prices down below. This one's only $19, it's quite reasonable. Marketing courses. SEO and Google Ads, photography and presets. Quite a number of those. Business mindset courses. Growing and monetizing YouTube. I should make a course on that. All things money. Website building and security. Here's my course right here. You might already have this course in your account on WP Learning Lab. If you do, you still have it. It's just part of this bundle and I've expanded it. I expanded it just last week, I believe. Now it's even more videos than it shows here. I think it's 39 videos now in that course. It used to be only seven, now it's 39. So I did a huge expansion on it. And if you bought that previously, you got that update. So log in, check out the new material and secure your websites. Copywriting courses, creating and launching online courses. You get the idea, podcasts, there's a whole lot of stuff in every single sub niche of online business, you can find an expert teaching it here that you can learn from and take your business to the next level or start your business or start a service or an add-on service to your business. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can find something to do with this course bundle and it's only $147. So if you're into that, click the link in the description down below, read through these courses and make sure you don't miss out because this is only available until the 12th of October in 2020. I have another link in the description down below. If you missed this sale and you're kind of sad that you did, 
click the second link. That will take you to an opt-in page. You can get on a list of mine where I will notify you if this ever reopens. This might reopen a week or two from now for, for a few days because people missed it and they want to, to buy it, or it might never reopen. You might have to wait till next year to get the 2021 version. But either way, get on that list if you missed it, or even if you didn't, if you want to be notified for next year's, get on that list and then make sure you don't miss it on next year's version. So click the link down below and check out the online business bundle. If you end up buying it, which you should, I can almost guarantee that you will not be upset about that purchase because it's just so much material. It will take your business to the next level if you apply what you learn in this bundle.